So I've known my mother for about 20 years now. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> to my beautiful mother, I stand here not only representing myself as the oldest, but I stand for my youngest siblings as well. And we're so happy for you. I am Jotty, maid of honor and daughter of the bride. We are all here today to visualize the love shared between these two people. As someone who has loved Davina my entire life, thank you for loving her so well. As you guys make it official in front of everyone today, I stand witness to the fact that you guys both made this official a long time ago. I've never seen you as happy as I've seen you with DJ. From the summer you introduced us to him, I knew it was serious. I saw the way he treated you and the way he looked after you, the way he showed his love to you from the beginning, and it always stuck with me. There is such a strong sense of security with me no longer living at home and knowing she has found someone so supportive, strong, communicative, and thoughtful. As someone who's been on the receiving end of Davina's love my entire life, in my experience, when you face success, she will celebrate you. When you face loss, she will hold you. When you want an adventure, she will take you, and, when, and she will always make space for laughter. Today I can tell you that your time with DJ has not only been beautiful to watch, but you both have stood as the best representation of what love should be. And as your son, and from my little siblings, we thank you for being that model of what it should be for us in the future. And for you, DJ, thank you for being the best possible man to my mom. You stood as a model for what a husband should be to both Jade, Eviana, and Jody. And you've shown me both to me and Aiden the best representation of what a man should be like. Those who know me can tell you I wasn't always accepting to the idea of a stepdad growing up. When I met DJ, he didn't force it to me though, and that was what made it the best relationship between us. Three, there go. Three, one, two, three. Yeah. He didn't push it and he didn't try to force a conversation between me and himself. When he first came around, it was nothing more than just a greeting. But I always appreciate the fact that he let it grow on its own. Because as time went on, it wasn't a forced stepdad and stepson relationship. He became my best friend and you know somebody I could look up to and somebody I could talk to about anything. He spent every day trying to get us to accept him, even doing by little things like bonding with me over sports and art, or how UF is supposedly better than USF, even though it's not. <laughs> as well as going above and beyond to drop everything to drive two hours after the kids and I got in a car accident just so that he could see we were okay for himself. You inspire me to be a better man every day, and there's no other man I want my mother to be with. So today, and to many more, Congratulations, and I love you both. Avina, te amo. We are gathered together to witness the joining of two hearts and two families, which will then truly become the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Davina Gonzalez and Derek Brady are here today to proclaim their undying love to the celebration of their marriage. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. We are fortunate to have the opportunity to witness the shared love of this beautiful couple. Although they grew up in the same town with the same circle of friends, their lives didn't cross paths until a few years ago. It was somewhat magical if you let Davina tell the story. Love at first sight, dancing passionately under the stars with her Instagram crush. <laughs> Wait, it gets better. <laughs> Then her shoe broke, causing her to walk away like a drunken pirate with a wooden leg. <laughs> Nonetheless, a few short months later, they began dating and soon thereafter fell in love. 
a true Cinderella story with a promising happily ever after. Let us celebrate one of life's greatest moments and give recognition to the worth and beauty of your love as you join together in the vows of marriage. Davina Gonzalez, do you take Derek Brady to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding unto him only? I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Close enough. Sure. <laughs> I heard it. I do, I do. <laughs> Yeah, you do. <laughs> that was for you. Derek Brady, do you take Davina Gonzalez to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her? I do. Davina and Derek, may today be a day you'll always remember, the day when your two hearts become one. And in so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, have promised your love for each other by these vows, by the authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>